Let's talk about feedback. Not audio feedback and not the kind of feedback your boss gives you. Shower more. But feedback from your script so you know it's actually doing something. Oftentimes, the print command is your best way to do this. If you type print, which you'll note turns blue as it is a reserved command word, then you can enter the information that you want to be returned to you within the parentheses. Anything that you print will be returned in the debug output window for your reference. Printing is a great way to see the results of your script. You can tell the script to add one plus one, but if you don't also tell it to print the response, then you'll never know it actually did it. Later, when we build functions, it would be fairly common to include a print command within your function as a way to confirm the function was actually performed. If you place a print command at the top of the function, then you'll know that function was called by the presence of the command string in your debug window. When printing, you can use either single quotes or double quotes to enter a literal string to be printed. Both methods work the same. Other times, you may want to print a variable, or a string that comes in from a third-party device, or maybe the value of a certain control. Any number of things could be included within the parentheses of a print command to be returned in the debug output window. In the block controller, you'll find the print command in the system category. You'll notice that it has a text string block connected to it by default, letting you type in your message. Later, when we talk about string manipulation, you'll see how we can add different types of information here. But for now, just type in the message you want to be printed, and if you jump over to the Lua tab, you can see the now familiar print command has been auto-generated in our code. So, is there an equivalence to a print window in the control components? No, not really. You could hover your mouse over any control pin to find out what a control's current string is, or you could send a control to a text display to get feedback on what it's doing, but there isn't a good way to combine or manipulate strings together using control components. Similarly, the only debug you get with control components is the angry cloud over your head when you haven't wired something correctly and you can't figure out how to fix it. So even in something as simple as debug printing, we can begin to see the functional differences between the flexibility of these three programming methods. Go ahead and check out the exercise on debug printing in the control worksheet and move on to the next video whenever you're ready.